Good day, this is Maryam Arashidi. I am a student in King Saud University, master degree in medical surgical. We will talk about interprofessional education strategy in this presentation. First, we will have the introduction and effective the, uh, the interprofessional education, then the competencies, the theoretical foundation, the main strategies, and the barrier and the, uh, and the barrier for addressing this. Our objective in this presentation, after completing this chapter, the reader will be able to justify the rationale in support of interprofessional education, learning experiences in health professions education, identify the interprofessional education and effective interprofessional education, identify the using method interprofessional education strategy, and identify the potential barriers when implementation strategy, identify the key strategy for addressing common barrier. So first we will start with, with the introduction. The delivery of safe and quality care in today's complex and ever-changing healthcare system relies on effective interprofessional communication and team functioning, role clarity among team members, as well as mutual and ongoing focus on person-centered care have been declared essentially in collaborative relationship. The aim of that develop the competencies of rural clarity, communication, team functioning, and person-centered care, which serve as the foundation for a collaborative workforce that is better prepared to respond to the challenges and complexities of the current healthcare environment. Why interprofessional education? Interprofessional collaborative practice is seen as the key to high quality accessible patient-centered care. In order for students to be for workforce ready, to practice effective teamwork and team-based care, we must be intentional in the developmental development and professional formation of our health professions students. IPE occurs when, the stu when students of two or more professions learn with, from, and about each other to improve collaborative collaboration and the quality of care. Center for the Advancement of Interprofessional Education uses the team use the term interprofessional education to include learning in both academic and clinical settings before and after qualification certification or licensure some of the benefit to exposing pre-licensure student to ipe are that it helps to cultivate mutual trust and respect confronts misconceptions and stereotypes and displace bridges and rivalry between professional group. Effective interprofessional education, there is a few key points should be upheld when designing and implementing activities and opportunity for IPE effective. Like first one, reinforces and provides the opportunity for individual to develop and define essential team-based skills. Grounded in mutual respect, honoring the distinctive experiences and expertise that all participants bring to the healthcare team from their respective backgrounds, provides individuals with the opportunity to learn about their own scope of practice while learning the skills language, and perspective of other professional role. Embedded within this principle of effective IPE are several competencies like knowledge, skills, and behaviors that are required for interprofessional collaborative practice. Interprofessional competencies. The number and the specificity of interprofessional competency required vary across academic institution but overall they can be summarized in two four core areas knowledge of and the ability to clearly articulate your professional role and responsibilities to others knowledge of when to refer and collaborate with others to provide optimal person-centered care cooperation positions 
of the skills required for collaboration and the ability to collaborate with others to establish common goal. Contribution to team function by exhibiting the following behaviors, upholding values and ethics that are reflect a shared commitment to delivering safer, efficient and effective system of care, respecting other opinion, demonstrating flexibility and open-mindedness. Successful level of IPE. First level is exposure. Primarily knowledge based with a strong emphasis on the first two competencies of the role clarity. Short term duration might include interviewing and shadowing other professional. Immersion, typically of longer duration than exposure level. Strategy and required higher level of interaction between professional groups. Individual learns to communicate and collaborate with other health professionals, share in decision making and solve problems together. Example of immersion level strategy are the communication skills lab. Mastery, the most complex and integrative group of activity. At the mastery level, Individual integrate interprofessional knowledge and skill in a team environment. Long term duration, there is an ongoing opportunity to build relationship and be actively engaged in a team. Theoretical foundation, contact theory developed by Alpert in 1954, proposes that the most effective way to reduce tension between groups is to bring them together. Alpert also said in 1954, believed that simply placing people together was not enough to effective positive change. So he proposed the following three conditions. Equality of status between group, group that work on common goals, and cooperation of the group during their contact. The most predominant philosophical argument for IPE that when IPE is offered at the pre-licensure level, improvement in interprofessional communication and collaboration will ultimately result in improved delivery of care and health outcome for patients. The main strategy for IPE as Khan and Shahzan and Gomathi 2016 were identified nine main strategies. First, simulation-based education programs, interprofessional training wards, patient-centered case studies, theme-centered workshop, student seminars, student-delivered lectures, health promotion activity, interactive lecture in a common setting. Interprofessional education, first the cooperation. The example is a small group is an interprofessional environment further enhanced learning as a student, develop of a sense of responsibility for accurately representing the knowledge and the skills based of their profession. The interprofessional nature of the small group experience provides opportunity to learn about each other rules and skill sets. Case-based learning approach. Case-based learning may also serve as a venue for interaction, fostering teamwork, communication skills, professionalism, and respect for one another. Communication Skills Lab, the ability to communicate in a respectful manner, facilitates contact connectedness among members of a team, is as it demonstrates an awareness of equal power and foster shared decision making, responsibility, and authority. Barrier to the interprofessional education. Interprofessional education is complex and often challenging to sustain. Students must be immersed in the theory and science. It can also be very difficult to identify available time for IPE initiatives. Unprepared faculty. Faculty need to be knowledgeable, competent, and confident, and faculty interest and expertise in IPE. 
lack of time for planning interprofessional strategy, lack of physical space to hold interprofessional event, barrier also, another barrier, even though skills and content may be similar across professional program in health science, there still tend to be minimal interaction between the student and each professional program. Lack of the uh, lack of attention, IP could lo- could lead to undervaluing or misinterpreting each profession's contribution, the potential of impairing communication, collaboration, and teamwork in the clinical environment after graduation. IPE still needs to be endorsed and mandated by programs with full support from senior administration for faculty champions who are committed to exploring a variety of approach and venues for interprofessional education. Key strategy for addressing common barrier or interprofessional education importance of organizational capacity and support, foster organic or grassroots development for of interprofessional interaction, foster connection between faculty and administration level, build education expectation for student, encourage wider faculty adaptation of interprofessional edu- interaction, flexible curricular strategies. The conclusion, as current research has really vi- revealed, it may also be valuable to extend IPA to both graduate and current professional cohort to maintain interprofessional competencies and positive collaborative attitude gained during effective IP experiences at the pre-licensure level. This is the reference you can use. Uh, Thank you for your listening.